friends this is dr anita mishra from biani girls college today i am here to discuss the topic organ culture this topic is helpful for both bsc and msc biotechnology and biology students first i would like to tell you that what is organ okay we know that what is cell cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life okay and same type of cells aggregate together to form tissues okay now different type of tissues aggregate together to form the organs so that different type of tissues which have different functions they aggregate to form the organs so that the organ can perform a particular function by using the cell culture technique which is under the animal biotechnology topic we can culture the organ in in vitro condition and that is what the organ culture is okay actually organ culture is to culture an organ in in vitro conditions okay now for culturing the organ in in vitro condition we can culture it in both solid medium as well as liquid medium okay so the basic objective of the organ culture is to maintain the architecture of tissue is to maintain the whole structure of the tissue and maintaining that whole structure direct it towards the normal development so that it may form an organ which may be beneficial for us actually organ culture is generally done in in vitro conditions to use the organ for drug studies as well as use the organs for organ transplants okay now we can culture the organ from both type of cells we can take the cells from an adult individual as well as cells from the embryonic embryo okay which are the embryonic cells but generally the embryonic organ culture is an easier alternative it is a more better technique as compared to the adult uh, differentiated using the adult differentiated cells now for culturing the organs in in vitro condition which is the organ culture we can use the four techniques one is the plasma clot method first is a plasma clot method second is the agar gel method third is the raft method and fourth is the grid method okay now when we are using the plasma clot method we have to create the plasma clot and for creating the plasma clot we have to add 15 drops of plasma in 5 drops of embryo extract on a watch glass okay this creates the plasma clot with this plasma clot will act as a medium i will give the environment for uh, growth and differentiation of the cells and tissues so that may they may form an organ okay now after creating the plasma clot we have to place that watch glass containing the plasma clot in a petri dish and this petri dish should contain the wet cotton uh, the cotton should be wet with some water and then the petri this watch glass is pla placed on that wet cotton in that petri dish and this is done to provide the moisture environment to that particular um, tissue that we want to culture on the plasma clot now place the tissue gently on the plasma clot and this is very necessary that we should look for that ki uh the uh, particular organ or tissues that we are placing on the media they should not get damaged they should not get disrupted when we are placing those particular tissues on the media if they get dis disrupted or damaged the organ or tissue culture technique may fail okay so this is the basic very important requirement that we should place the tissue or the uh, particular organ uh gently on the particular media now uh we can place uh, the um, tissue directly on the plasma clot or we can use a raft of rayon net okay the ra a raft of rayon net is used and then we place the tissue on that raft of rayon net and why that raft of rayon net is used that raft of rayon net, net is used because when we are using the rayon net the tissue will remain on the rayon net and the media is below that particular net and when we want to replace that when media get exhausted and we want to replace that uh, 
particular tissue to the different media, it becomes easier to place the tissue on the different media okay, without damage to the tissue. So, to make the transfer easier, we have to place the tissue on a raft of rayon net. Now, the next method, number 2 method is the agar gel method. As the name is indicating, the agar gel method is uh, the method which is using the agar and agar we know that is used to solidify the media. Okay? In the agar method, agar gel method, we use the defined media which is uh, according to the organ we are going to culture, according to the tissues we are using to culture the organ. Okay? Now, the defined media can be used with serum or without serum according to the our requirement and according to our protocol. Okay? Now, the third method is the raft method. Okay? In the agar gel method, one thing I would like to tell you that in the agar gel method, why we are using agar? Because on agar, it, uh, which is a solid medium, it is easy to isolate the tissue or organ which has been cultured and it is easier to transfer it as compared to the liquid medium. Okay? Now, the third method is the raft method. In the raft method, we use a raft as the name is indicating and the raft is made of the made up of rayon acetate. It is the rayon acetate raft. Okay? And we have to place the X plant on the rayon acetate, acetate raft. What is X plant? We know, we all know that what is X plant? X plant is actually the particular part of the individual or organism that we are using for cultural process, okay, which we place on the media. And here we are placing the X plant on the rayon acetate raft and then we will place that rayon acetate raft on the media. And for that, here in this technique, we use the liquid medium. Okay? And for uh, uh, why we are using raft? Because we want to uh, place our tissue over the raft and we want to easily transfer it and we, we, can easy, we, can, we want to easily retrieve it. For this, we are treating the four corners of the raft with silicon and this treatment with silicon will make the raft to float on the serum. And this floating of the serum will make the explant to easily isolate. And from the, uh, when we are placing the raft on the serum, liquid serum uh, medium, the, the tissue will get the media for growth and differentiation and the tissue will also re remain or organ will also remain intact. Okay? Now, the next method is the grid method. As the name is indicating, we are using the grid. Here, we are using 20 mm by 20 mm wire mesh. Okay? We can use a wire mesh or we can use a perforated steel sheet also. Okay? Wire mesh or perforated steel sheet. Okay? And on that wire mesh or perforated steel sheet, we place the tissue. Okay? The tissue can be a harder tissue comparatively like skeletal tissue okay? or this tissue may be a soft tissue, okay? uh, very soft tissue. There are two types of tissue in our body like um, cartilaginous tissues, like blood tissues or uh, some muscle tissues, they are the softer tissues. Okay? So, when we are using the harder tissues like a skeletal uh, tissue, we can place it directly on the stainless steel sheet or wire mesh. Okay? Or uh, if we are using a soft tissue, we have to place that soft tissue first on the raft and then we have to place that raft on the uh, media. Okay? And here we create a chamber. Here we create a chamber in which there is a liquid media. Okay? And uh, the, the chamber will contain the fluid medium, liquid medium as well as oxygen CO2 conditions. These oxygen CO2 conditions are required are uh, provided to maintain the oxygen requirements of the adult differentiated tissues which will um, the adult differentiated tissue will be created when we are uh, culturing the organ when we are creating the organ this or uh, these organs will require the oxygen and this oxygen requirement will be fulfilled by the oxygen and co2 in the chamber okay and uh, we want, I would like to tell you that this grid method is a very widely used technique nowadays for studying the differentiation process of different type of cells, how the different type of cells and tissues differentiate and how they form the organs. This is the most widely used technique for this study purpose, study of the differentiation. 
Now, I hope you have understood the topic organ culture and what are the methods of the organ culture. And this is a very useful technique nowadays because this technique has a very important advantage that when we are going to um, uh, when we are going to uh, transplant any organ from a different individual, there are chances of uh, graft rejection. And uh, this graft rejection uh, can be overcome using this technique because we, in this technique we, use, we can use the stem cells of the same individual, okay, of the same individual to form a organ, okay. The, so, the organ that will be formed will contain the same genetic constitution, okay. So, the, uh, b because of the same genetic constitution, the organ will not be re rejected during the transplant process. So, uh, the main advantage can be for the transplant process as well as for the study purpose. So, basically what are the advantages? Uh, they are the for transplant okay, and they are for study purpose also, study of differentiation. We can study the differentiation by using this technique and we can also transplant, uh, we can make the transplant process easier. Okay, there are no, no chances of rejection in this process. Generally, there are no chances of rejection. Now, but there is a limitation of this process. What is the limitation of this process? I would like to tell you that when we are, um, we can use, uh, I have alre already told you that we can use this technique for drug study, for studying the effect of a particular drug like cancerous drug or any other drug on a particular organ for that purpose this organ culture technique is used okay we use this technique and that is also that is beneficial for us but there is a limitation that in in vitro condition after so many innovations and after so many advancements still we can't create that in vivo environment so uh, the effect of a drug in in vitro condition may be quite different from that in the in vivo conditions that is a particular limitation of this organ culture technique. Although because of uh, there is a limitation, but this technique is very beneficial for us. And this technique can, uh, uh, for, can uh, this technique has many, um, many uh, grow, there can be many, uh, much more growth in this field. Uh, still there is a requirement of, for culturing many organs, okay. We have developed so many techniques for organ culture, still we have to develop many more techniques in for the organ culture. I hope you have liked my video. Thanks for watching gurukpu.com. Keep watching gurukpu.com. Um, please like, subscribe and comment on my video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>